circle and its construction. Today, let's revise about circle and its construction. Look at these objects. They are all circular in shape. A circle is a plane figure in which all the points are at a same distance from the center. Now, let's learn some of the important terms related to the circle. Look at the figure. Here, point A is the center of the circle. Center of the circle is the fixed point from which the circle is drawn. Line segment AB is a radius of the circle. Radius is the segment that extends from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. Line segment PQ is a diameter of the circle. Diameter is the segment that joins any two points on the circle and it always passes through the center of the circle. Line segment MN is a chord of the circle. Chord is the segment that joins any two points on the circle. The diameter is the longest chord. The circumference of a circle is the perimeter of the circle. When we fold circle along the diameter, we get two half circles. They are called semicircles. And lastly, half a semicircle forms quarter of a circle. Let's now learn how to draw a circle. To draw a circle, we use a compass. A compass has two arms, a metal arm and a pencil arm, connected by a hinge. Step 1. Keep the metal point of the compass firmly on a fixed point. Step 2. Stretch the arm of the compass that holds the pencil. Step 3. Move the pencil arm around, keeping the metal arm fixed. Hey, look, we have drawn a circle. Now, let's draw one more circle. But, this time, with a radius of 4.5 centimeters. Step 1. Use a ruler to set the distance between both the arms as 4.5 centimeters. Step 2. Place the point of the compass on a fixed point. Step 3. Move the pencil arm around to draw the circle. Do you know? 1. The diameter is the longest chord. 2. Diameter is equal to twice the radius. 3. A circle has many radii and diameters. Kids, wasn't it fun learning about the circle? Why don't you try drawing a few on your own?